بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم پروفیسر سلیم ناصر اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان کیمسٹری ہیڈ آف ڈپارٹمنٹ آف کیمسٹری ایٹ جی سٹی لیا آئی ایم ایم فل ان کیمسٹری آئی نو دیٹ کہ دا فسٹ آف آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دا complete concept of the definition of the chemistry because we mentioned the different aspect in the definition of the chemistry if the students thoroughly understand these aspects which have been mentioned in the definition of the chemistry then no doubt the student will get the more and more information and understanding and learning in all the level of the chemistry easily so in this reference first my first lecture is only the chemistry that what is chemistry and in this lecture we will try to understand the all the aspects of the chemistry in the definition of the chemistry so what is chemistry chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the study of matter its properties its composition its structure and changes occurring in it and the rules principles which govern these changes is called chemistry students in that definition we have mentioned the various aspects that is the matter its properties its composition its structure and changes and the rules and principles now it is the very important to address all these aspects which have been mentioned in this definition and these aspects are firstly that is the matter as you have studied in your previous classes about the matter that the matter is everything which occupy some space and have some weight is called as matter everything which will occupy some space and have some weight is called as the matter so all these 
things which have some space and some weight are studied under the umbrella of the chemistry and we also know that that matter has its three physical state that is solid liquids and gases so the gases liquids and solids has been studied under the definition of the chemistry with reference to our second aspect that is properties and these properties comprises its boundary in two types of the properties that is physical property and chemical property physical properties are associated with the physical state of the matter that is state of solid state of liquid state of gases and also its weight its mass its viscosity that is the physical property and that is the chemical property chemical properties are the properties associated with the chemical reactions so that properties physical properties and the chemical properties of the matter either the in the state of solid either in the state of the liquid either in the state of gas is studied by the chemistry thirdly its composition the matter is studied to its composition that with what kind of matter is that have composition suppose we consider the example of the water the water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen with the ratio of 2 by 1 so the water all over the world has the composition of the two two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen in that is water is composed of two atoms of the hydrogen and one atom of the oxygen so all the compounds have the definite proportion and that definite proportion is studied by the under the title of the chemistry next aspect in the definition is the structure
स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द मैटर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कंपाउंड द कंपाउंड लाइक वाटर वी नो दैट इट हैज द एंगुलर स्ट्रक्चर एंगुलर स्ट्रक्चर नो द केमिस्ट्री स्टडीज द चेंजेस अ क्रिंक इन द मैटर एंड दैट चेंजेस can be divided into the two types that is the physical change and the chemical change physical changes are associated with the physical physical properties that these changes in these changes no new thing no new product is formed for example water on cooling is converted into the ice water is a liquid state is a physical property and ice is a physical state of the matter that is in the solid state but after applying some temperature that ice can be reversed into the water now the chemical change chemical change is associated with the chemical properties that is in that changes the matter is converted into new product new thing when two or more than two substances combined with each other chemically then the new product is formed and that change is called as the chemical change for example iron and sulfur react chemically to give the iron sulfide the iron sulfide is a new product and that iron sulfide cannot be reversed in the iron and sulfur again and the properties of the iron and the properties of the sulfur are different as compared to the properties of the iron sulfide so in that iron sulfide the individual properties of the iron and the sulfur are not retained so we can say that ki that chemical change is not reversed by the ordinary chemical processes so all the other compounds they are studied by the chemistry with reference to the structure let's suppose we say that hydrogen and oxygen react with each other in the presence of the electric spark and form the water the question arises either at ordinary conditions that hydrogen and oxygen may give the water the answer is that no because the chemical reactivity has some rules and some principles which govern these changes that when up till that an electric current is not passed through the hydrogen and the oxygen gas the water is not formed we know that ke in the air in air nitrogen is present by 78% and oxygen is present by 21% they combine to give nitrous oxide that is called as laughing gas the question arises 
in the bulk presence of the oxygen and the nitrogen in the air why not the laughing gas is not producing in the air in the atmosphere and which the person who inhale who will inhale that laughing gas suffers with the historical laughter then why not the people inhale the nitrous oxide and if suffers with the historical rafters the quest answer is that the nitrogen and oxygen they will combine with each other when the temperature of 3000 degree is applied so oh, that is the rule and that is the principle which is which is mentioned by the chemistry that we need the 3000 degree temperature for the combination of the nitrogen and oxygen to form the laughing gas and the, it is the work of the nature that the nature kept that fundamental rule and that fundamental rule is explored by the chemistry so we say that chemistry study the matter its properties with reference to the all the kinds of the property of the matter regarding the states state of the matter that is the solid state liquid state and the gaseous state and chemistry study the property of the composition of the matter ke what is the composition of the matter what is the composition of the different compounds what are the constituents of the different compounds and what are the their ratio of the different constituent in that compound so the various compounds have the various constituent have the various number of the atoms have the various uh, atomicity different atomicity of the different compounds is studied by the title of the chemistry so next i have talked you uh, talk about i have uh, mentioned that ke chemistry study the structure of the matter ke what will be the structure of the different compounds different molecules of the matter in this way uh, we have next aspect is the change and the change is changes further sub divided into the two classes that is the physical change and the chemical change and the physical change associated with the physical property and the physical property is then direct relate to the property of the matter and the chemical change that the chemical change is the chemical property and that chemical property of the matter is studied by the chemistry now last the rules and the principles and these are the the rules and the principles set the by the chemistry for that physical change for the chemical change for the properties of the matter for the composition of the matter and for the structure of the matter and these rules and these principles are collectively called as the chemistry thank you very much